Good afternoon, everybody. It is Saturday, and it is like 73 degrees, sunny out, absolutely beautiful day. Feels perfect outside, which is which is amazing for the circumstances that we're we're going through today. Okay, so uh, y'all know Colson. I uh, play basketball with him, volleyball, all that stuff. Well, uh, he has invited me over to his house to play sand volleyball with him and his sister. Now, his sister is a D1 volleyball player at University of South Carolina. Yeah, the Gamecocks. And she is bringing some of her friends, either her friends from school or her D1 volleyball <laughs> player friends on the sand team to play. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, that, that's going to be some crazy comp. They're probably going to destroy us. Uh, but a little backstory on Colson and his sister. So Colson is an absolutely amazing setter. And the reason for this is because he would spend hours and hours just setting over and over for his sister. So that is why he is so good at volleyball, uh, at setting and hitting, because, I mean, he's lived this. <laughs> Oh man, so uh, very excited, uh, heading over there right now, uh, I only live like 30 minutes away from him, which is awesome, let's head on over. Just read Colson's text again, just to make sure I was here at the right time, uh, I was supposed to be here at 12, and I read the text, and it said be at his house at 12, meaning his apartment, uh, cause he's gonna drive over, and uh, so I'm here about 30 minutes early. So I'm just out here, just on the side of the road. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait here 30 minutes and then uh, go on right down the road. It's like a minute away. So I'll just be here. Yeah, Colson, what are we supposed to do now? Now we're all just gonna stand here on Which one? Oh yeah. Yeah, the one out of my room. Huh? Yeah, the other one. Yes, guys, oh my gosh, that was so fun. Um, I, we were out there for three hours. <laughs> uh, we took like three water breaks, so we were we were playing constantly. And we had the perfect number of people, we had eight people. Unfortunately, uh, some of the other uh, D1 players weren't there, but uh, Colton's sister was still there, so. Uh, and she, she is solid, her sets were just money every time I mean obviously since she probably does that every day for hours upon hours I mean it was crazy and all us dudes we were we had been playing volleyball for like four years we all knew each other we were all big athletic so they were they were solid games uh, and just for reference so you know what I'm talking about meaning solid good games uh, in intramurals you're lucky if you get one good game during the regular season. Normally, you just steamroll everybody. And then once you get to the playoffs, it's like once you get to the Elite Eight or whatever, that's when you start getting to actual competitive games and stuff. But uh, so so that that's what I mean by these were great games. They were all competitive. We were all on – we switched teams every time. So fun, dude. I wish we could do that every single weekend. I would be there in a heartbeat. Get some sun. Hopefully my nose doesn't burn. <laughs> I put sunscreen on my nose. My nose is just so big that it just attracts all the sunlight. It's so annoying. I could put sunscreen on just my nose and the rest of my face would be fine. And my nose would still get red. It's really irritating. Uh, so we'll see tomorrow <laughs> if it's red, if I look like Rudolph or not. Oh man. Uh, afterwards, uh, we headed inside and uh, Colson's parents were there. They actually, they watched some of the games and uh, they cooked us nachos. We hung out for a little bit. Oh, what an amazing time. Um, so I'm gonna head home and just chill for the rest of the day. Maybe watch a movie. It's only 3.30. Takes about 25 minutes to get home. Oh, what a beautiful day too. It's 77 out. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love spring and summer. I love the warm weather. So excited, so excited. <sighs> Nice of you. 
What is this? Camera. What'd you see? Huh? Hmm? What'd you see? What do I need? What'd you see? I'm not sure. Not sure? Mm-mm. What does it look like? It looks like a camera. Yep. Is that what it is? Yes, ma'am. You're a sweet guy, you know that. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Grandparents will be home in about 10 minutes and we're gonna go out to somewhere to eat. Let's get dressed. That should do, let's go. Okay, I've got just a couple minutes before they get here. Let's see if how close I can get this ball to right here with that one bounce way over there, coming all the way back. Okay, haven't done this in a while. Let's see how it goes, ready? Ooh, that's probably way too hard. Ooh, that's way too hard. Okay, hold on. Nope, that's too soft, too soft. Come on. Nope, terrible. Third time, third time. Mm, I, I feel like that's good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. That's good for now. Oop, they just hung, which means they're here. Let's go. We could go to. Now I don't think you like seafood as well, good as we do. We could go there. We could go to Smithfield Barbecue. Mm -hmm. We could go to City Barbecue. Oh. Or City, whatever they have. It's not barbecue. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, since I like their fish, it's pretty good. Um, and we could do the. the Super califragilistic expialidocious. The Chick fil A? Chick fil A. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. So um, I had another one, but I forgot what it was. So that's my three or four. What's your preference? I want y'all to be happy. Grandma, where you want to go? Where y'all go? Okay, good. So it's just between Drew and I then. All right. Uh, how about City Barbecue? Okay. Let's go check it out. All right, cool. <laughs> Smile. Just got back from eating, and now Grandpa and I are gonna play one game of pool. I bet he's gonna win. Good shot. Might as well just set you up, huh? I'm gonna try that corner over there. Woo. Well, Grandpa won, just as expected. <laughs> Although I did give it to him, I set him up perfectly. Ah, tried to hit the ball in, and uh, I never think if if I miss it that I'll just set him up perfectly. I mean, they were both straight in, ah, but uh, gave it a good run. I, I actually hit some balls in, thank goodness. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to, I'm probably gonna go down and eat some ice cream and then, I don't know what else for the night is. Let's see what time is it. Uh, quick, it is, can you see that? 9.13. And, and Grandpa actually mentioned if I was going to early service, and I've never been to a sunrise service for Easter. That actually might be kind of fun, but it's just not the same. I know I've never been, but I, I know there aren't as many people. At big church, is just, just big church. It's just what you do. And so I'm probably just going to go to big church.
Oh my gosh, guys. I wish you could have seen my actual reaction. <laughs> um, so when I left for dinner, uh, we were at 7.97 and I was excited. Uh, it had been going up all day and like more than usual. So I was like, oh wow. Um, but I got on like crossing my fingers that I hit the 800 mark and will you look at that? Wow, you can't really see it, so hold on. Oh my gosh, 817. I fully did not expect that. I expected maybe maybe 801, <laughs> not 817. Um, so just for reference, uh, well, I guess not reference, but uh, the video that has been uh, accumulating a lot of views is my laundry, laundry day, I believe it's called, and it's gotten it's been going up a lot, which is super exciting because it is, let me set you down. Because that is a long form video, which means I'm going to get uh, watch hours, which is what we are in desperate need of. Uh, we are doing absolutely great on the subscribers for the 98 challenge. It's just those darn <laughs> 4,000 hours. So hard to get. Um, so this is going to help immensely. It's about that time to go to bed. And as y'all are watching this, the day of, it's Easter, so happy Easter. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow.